Hey guys, what's going on? Shaw here, and today in this video, we're going to be taking a quick dive in to Iron Docs to take a look at how to optimize your Iron Star usage. Now, disclaimer, pugs aren't going to do this perfectly. The idea for this video actually came from Tommy the Cat 10 who commented on one of my last videos. Hey, any chance you can do a commentary or route guide for Iron Docs? I'm not sure how to tank the Iron Stars part, which mobs to pull into the path of which star. And how to plan a route, given that every run has slightly different count after the Iron Stars. I will say this, the route isn't going to change with count. It depends on how many targets you hit with the Iron Star. So in this video, let's talk about exactly how to fully optimize the stars. Let's go. All right, so here we are in game in MDT. We're going to ignore most of the rest of the route. How you pull this front half, how you pull the back half is totally up to you. We're really focused on this Iron Star minigame right after Nakgar, the first boss. So what this is typically going to look like for movement is you're going to be coming down this way. And then this is kind of where the gauntlet is going to start. Now you can, of course, solo dps down these augrons but this is going to be very inefficient we can kill them with the iron stars there's three of them and what a lot of people don't know is that they are capped at 15 targets so ideally you're going to hit 15 mobs with the iron star each time and this is going to clear the most amount of trash without any dps or any healers or well the tank will be using some cds but without your group using cds so you can focus on using that for packs that you actually have to kill later on in the dungeon how this first, this very first pull, how I typically do it, is I try to get three of these Ogrons down immediately. What this is going to do is it'll clear up some of the kind of the patrols, allowing for DPS or the healer to kind of move back and forth for the tank to get to a different area to pull stuff back. Uh, I just find it very efficient to be able to clear out this first Ogron as well as these two. So the first pull, what that's going to look like is you're going to run up this way. Obviously come into the room. I don't like how that arrow is positioned or that other one. So you're going to come into this room. You're going to be able to tag this Ogron. Ogron? How do you say these? <laughs> and then you're going to start heading back this way to tag one this dead eye pack. Ideally, you're going to be tagging one that's over down here. And let me show you why. Because you'll be grabbing this guy, this guy, and this dude. So this is three targets. Then we have six here. This will definitely pull. These are all melee, so very easy to move the, the deckhands. And then by tagging this mob over here, like one of these two mobs, it's going to kind of force them to run towards you. And then as soon as you have threat on these dead eyes, these archers, start running back towards the iron star. So let's just say we have nine so far, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's going to leave two dead eyes up in the very, very back, but this should be easy to hit. Once this happens, once you have threat on most of these mobs, you're going to need to try to get them in line with the Iron Star. The Iron Star will clear a direct path based on where this person aims it, and it's going to launch the Iron Star straight ahead, if I can draw an arrow. And it should clobber everything in this line. Now, the idea is to get everything in line with the Iron Star, or at least grouped up in a general sense, so the Iron Star can hit everything. The Ogron laborers, these dead deckhands are very easy to hit. Now, since you do have three Ogrons, you need to be extremely, extremely careful on how much damage you're going to be taking during their flurry casts. Their flurry does a ton of damage to the tank. You're also going to be taking a lot of shots from the dead eye. You're going to be getting slowed by their leg shots, um, as well as just getting hit by deckhands. So this is a pretty scary pull. Typically, I'll have Incarn or I'll, I'll commit like Survival Instincts to this pull. I'm not sure what other tanks can do, but trying to get 15 targets is going to be the name of the game. So that is going to be group one. Now, after that, the idea is to pull 15 more mobs into the path of the next Iron Star whether that's going to be aimed straight or if it's going to be aimed at an angle is up to your group and up to you and how you can best position these mobs. Now, I always recommend sending them just in a direct straight path. It makes it easier for both you and the and the player who is getting into the Iron Star to understand what's going on. I recommend it be a DPS since the healer might want to stay nearby just in case the need the, you know, the tank needs a little bit of extra healing. So, with group 2, this is how it's going to work. What I recommend doing is if you're not in combat, 
to somehow get by and pull later. But just in case you can't, you can do this pack with this pack. This already creates 11 targets. No, sorry, 13 targets. <laughs> wow, I can't fucking count. So we have six here, six here. We also have the Ogron, and then we have this Ogron. So this will put us at 14, and then we should be able to hit another Deadeye with this with this barrage or with this Iron Star. Now, what I taught when I'm talking about like you don't have to angle the Iron Star straight. You could actually then angle this if it's easier to the side. If it's easier for you to just pull them all like right here in this path. Um, putting them on the dead eye is probably the most important thing you can do. Now the Iron Star will kill in the order it hits the mobs. So you definitely want to be hitting these Ogrons first. So as soon as you group everything up, the tank should be running back towards the Iron Star that they are using. So if you're using the second Iron Star, the tank should be running in a direct path to line everything up because it'll act like a funnel. So as mobs are out of range and are running towards you, they will be funneling into the line of fire. Especially when you're pulling dead eyes. So this was 15 targets, and now we have one Iron Star. We've pretty much cleared this entire area, so we want to focus our sights down here. So what we can do is we can grab this mob here, this one solo Deadeye, if it's still up. Sometimes the Iron Star might clip. Sometimes you might not hit all 15 in this first go, and you might have like hit 13 and then ended up killing these guys as well or something. I've seen a lot of flexibility with this, but this is just like a general idea of how this should work. So we have the one Deadeye up still. Now, this this pack is weird because it's not linked. If you tag the Ogron, none of these other guys are going to come running. So you have to either get into this pack and pull them manually by hitting them or by using a range ability to tag each and every one. So what we're going to do is we're going to tag all six of these guys. This puts us at six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there are 43 total targets that we can potentially hit now of course if you really want to try hard you can like go back and pull something too to run it all the way over here but that's not worth the runtime why did i not highlight the natherzim well it's because they're unaffected you're gonna have to kill these manually if they're if you decide to pull both of these now this is of course if you're fully optimizing um the iron stars now i've seen a lot of groups end up not pulling any of this stuff back here which just means you're missing out on five additional targets that you can kill with the Iron Star, which is just a more efficient for clearing trash, right? So in a 25, this is the level of the key that my group is doing currently. In a 25, these guys have 1.5 million health. That's a lot of health. So it's not worth us doing 1.5 mil manually by using a rotation, by using CDs, when we can save it for a scarier pull like this. So ideally, this is what your Iron Stars would look like. And of course, you can then take the Iron Star and you can send it straight. As soon as you tag all of these mobs, the tank should come running as fast as they can to get in line with this third Iron Star and it will kill the rest of the group. So we're going to walk through a quick clip of how this should look in a general sense, keeping in mind that we're back pulling. All right, so here we are. Nakar has just fallen and we are going to start making our way over to the Iron Star. So my group is mounting up currently because they're gonna try to avoid damage as much as they can here because of this 50 yard stomp on the Agron Labor's, um, you know, Thunderous Stomp or whatever it's called. I don't actually remember. So our priest got a little impatient there and ran ahead and ended up having to commit Disperse because he was getting meleeed. But here we are, we're tagging all three of these laborers. And then unfortunately, we are sending this Iron Star a little early. So and we ended up missing a good bit of these technicians, but that's okay. We're going to be able to make it up in the future. Like I said, there are 43 complete potential targets, and we missed uh, four, five, six of them here with this first Iron Star. Not super great, but what is convenient about this is that I am now out of combat, so I'm going to be able to put myself in a position to group them up easier. So we're running down, we're trying to get past, we are moon firing, we're committing incarn, I'm tagging the dead eyes as best I can, and once again, I'm acting as a funnel here. You can notice that I'm running towards the iron star. Let's back it up a little bit and just take a look at this again. So I'm tagging the dead eyes with moon fire. There, I see that they're all uh, targeted at me, and I see that there's a second iron star up in this corner. So I'm gonna start making my way downtown, walking fast while faces pass, and we're about to be homebound. That was giga cringe, I'm so sorry. So I'm putting down a blue marker just so the 
player knows where to be aiming it, and we kill all of the dead eyes in one go. I'm stuck in this goop on the ground. Um, you want to be careful of this because it'll continuously stun you if you stay inside of it, but I'm also slowed, so it's hard to get out. Now, in card's going to be fading, but I'm going to do my best to try to get as many mobs to the blue marker as possible. So I'm going to do that by targeting each of these targets individually, tagging them with Moonfire. You can see that some of these deckhands aren't coming necessarily. They're a little bit harder to play with. And we're going to start, once again, heading directly towards the Iron Star. I know that it's off to my right. I'm positioned like this to make sure that everything is in line. I'm committing survival instincts and bark skin. I'm doing whatever I can to stay alive so my DPS can send the Iron Star, finishing off the rest of the trash. Finishing up these explosives, and then we're on our way. Now you will see that there are a few packs left over here. This is because of the first Iron Star error. If I pulled more, even if I wanted to pull more, and I did, it the Iron Star there wouldn't have killed everything. So if we back it up a little bit, you're seeing there's seven targets here. There's another six targets up here, plus this guy that's 14. So even if I pull this, I'd still have to kill at least one. Um, I'm trying to make sure that my math is right. Seven and seven. Yeah, so 14. So this is a pretty much maxed out Iron Star. We could have probably gotten one more mob, but it wasn't worth the hassle of running all the way down and having the potential of dying. So we're just going to kill these guys here. And that is how you do the Iron Stars in Iron Docks. Now, of course, in Pugs, this is a little bit harder to do. Now, of course, you can type out, hey, wait for me to group up the mobs first. But I found that a lot of Pugs just like to jump in the Iron Stars and send them. Even if they're only hitting a handful of targets, they're going to just do it anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Huge shout out to my Patreons, Brian, Linus, and Swole Bear. I can't thank you guys enough for your support. It allows me to make videos like this. If you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. If I miss anything important, also let me know, and I will catch you guys all in the next one. Take care.